I found some venison that's probably almost a year and a half old in my freezer when I was cleaning it. So I'm going to make some venison stew. Now I'm using backstrap venison and usually I would make a steak cut for this instead, but it is getting kind of older and stew just sounded good today. You know, the funny thing is I'm at work and my husband was home. So I said, can you go in the freezer? And I was very, very descriptive. The freezer that's connected with the refrigerator because we have two other freezers and in the little bin that has all the meat in it there's a package that has the venison backstrap in it can you get it out so it's thawed out by the time i get home calls me can't find it anywhere it's not where i set what happens i come home and i find it exactly where i told him i don't know what it is both he and my son seem to look, but not see. Does anybody else have that problem? You can have your dinner on the table in less than an hour, even if your husband can't find the venison in the freezer. I did a quick de-thaw in the microwave, but I could have put it frozen into the Instant Pot, but this just seemed to be easier. I put it in the microwave and thawed it a bit while I went out and did a little things in the yard. So here's our venison cut up in chunks. It was a back strap, but it's, well, it's getting almost a year and a half old, so it's time to use it out of the freezer. Just some cut up onions with a little minced garlic on top. This is two parsnips, smaller parsnips cut up. This is one and a half sweet potatoes cut up. And the only way I get my husband to eat sweet potatoes is if I hide it in something. So he'll probably think they're carrots. I have a little bit of wine here, red wine, and here is some broth. It is oxtail broth. It's kind of the second time around. The first time I made oxtail soup, but I still thought there was plenty of broth left in the bones, so rendered some more. Kind of cooked it down. And then I'm probably going to use some steak seasoning, and I might use a little of my leftover canned tomato sauce from another recipe. And I also may put in some Worcestershire sauce. If you don't have venison on hand, use beef for this recipe. It'll work just fine. Again, always use what you have on hand. If you noticed here, I had uh, some leftover tomato sauce. I had a couple of parsnips and sweet potatoes and it was about time to use them and a stew is a great thing to make and it's so easy in your instant pot and I'm going to saute our meat in a little bacon grease. Now we're going to just press saute. I want to wait maybe two to three minutes to let it warm up well. Add some of our bacon grease. Never want to throw it away. You have to remember that venison is very, very lean. So we're going to use some bacon fat while we're making this to give it a little oomph. If you don't have bacon fat, use butter, lard, whatever you have on hand. It's starting to melt. Mmm. You can also add a little bacon to this when you're cooking venison. Now, half. You have to be careful because it's thick, so you want to keep reaching around, but you want to brown each side. So here, we're not trying to cook, really, the venison pieces. We just want to lightly brown them on all sides. So don't leave them in there too long, or you've already cooked them before you've actually pressure cooked them. So we've got another batch to do after this one, so we'll be back when we've got them brown. Now we want to pour maybe I don't know, a quarter cup of wine. 
Kind of deglaze the pan here a little. And I like cooking the onions in the wine. But you don't have to. And you don't have to use wine. So now we have our onion and our garlic in here. Let's try to scrape up all those good bits. And we're just going to let this brown. Okay, we've let those sizzle long enough. I'll put in a little more wine. And some of our broth here. mix up a little and remember you never want to use your instapot without liquid in the bottom okay we need a little more of this and we need just a little of our tomato sauce here which of course froze in my refrigerator. Let's get this all liquefied here. Looking pretty good. We're gonna put a little Worcestershire sauce. Maybe about a tablespoon. A little of our steak seasoning. And mix this up good. Now we're going to put our meat back in. And we're going to add our parsnips and our sweet potatoes. And let's see, does that liquid look about the right amount? Hmm, I think that's about right. Now we want to turn off our saute. Put the lid on. So we want to make sure the vent right here is all the way to the back. Okay, we want to hit manual. Pressure. We want high pressure. And we want it 35 minutes. Back when it's done. Now one of the things I do when I'm making stew or soup or anything else is I'm going to taste it when it comes out of that pressure cooker. And I might be adding other spices. I'm just about positive I'll be adding salt. But I might add a little more wine. I might add a little garlic powder. I might add a little thyme. We'll just have to see when it's ready for the taste test. There it goes. Now we're going to wait and let it do a natural release. Okay. Take off the top. Looking good. Just want to thicken up that sauce a little. So we've got about two tablespoons of cornstarch. Need a slurry here. Thicken it up. Put it back to saute. pepper in it. I'll let anybody that wants to add extra salt. We'll just thicken it in a minute. It's almost ready to dish up. Doesn't that look great? Nice thick stew with parsnips and sweet potatoes and of course venison. 
I didn't want to burn myself. It really is hot. Mm. Mm. Melts right in your mouth. Parsnips are good. Let's try a little sweet potato here. Mm. This is delicious. So easy to make. We got such a nice gravy. You could also put this over day old bread. That tastes great too. But quick dinner for your family. And if you have hunters in your family, great to make with venison. But if not, use beef or pork. This is Prepper Popery saying, I hope you enjoyed our dinner tonight. And as always, please subscribe and share the knowledge. Thank you.